What's up, YouTube? It's JSOC, aka Double Wrench, here with Hemi Alex. We're gonna do some dumb shit. We're gonna rust repair. Hold on, safety, safety ray bands. The FJ62. It was mine, Alex bought it, and now we are going to rust repair it at Double Wrench Garage. So he's peeling off all of the protective tape, uh, rust repair version 1.0, and we're gonna just grind till we see clear metal, cut. Well, not clear metal, clean metal. Cut that out, make patches, weld it in. How hard? We went around and hit all the rusty areas with a flap disc, so kind of see what we're dealing with now. We got to clean metal. Now we're working on cutting out the bad metal and then getting the shape situated and cutting it out of good metal or whatever. Isn't that right, Alex? And we're using Dremels because we're not stupid. Dremel is the move for this. It's going to be an easy little patch. Keep this patch a small. Small, keep precise fire, patches. Keep fire burning. Nice low heat on the welder so as not to destroy anything and we'll be good to go. As far as we know, we've never done this. All right, we have the holes largely cut out. Vacuum the loose stuff off the inside. The next step will be wire wheeling it on the inside just to clean everything up. And then rust reforming or something of that nature. Let's have those all cut out. Patches roughly made, a little larger than they need to be. I'm gonna get to wire wheeling. As you can see, I have my homemade metal brake, which is a Harbor Freight panel clamp. It was completely not meant to do this, but we're getting that nice curvature. Perfect little curve. Oh, look, look, it's gonna, it's gonna Unlike the earth, which is flat. It's like Legos, but with conspiracy. Look at that. Look this, at that. This, this is workable. That's gonna, that's gonna tack in nicely. So just there getting is. some pieces formed. Not done cutting them out. All the Dremel discs exploded. So you're gonna have to get more of those. At the moment. That uh, face shield saved me, so uh, always wear a face shield, kids. Something like that. Look at that. Wow, ah, that's ah, yeah. First time fitting a panel. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have to constantly remind people of that. I used all the wrong tools, and I've got something that kind of fits, and something that, that kind of almost pops into place. Little, oh, little tap and love here. And um, we're ready to start it's welding. Pretty close, yeah. Pretty close. It's gonna be fine. We need, we need results, not perfection. So, uh, we'll see if I set the truck on fire. <laughs> Put that corner down and you're good to go. That top one, just bend it out of the rig. It'll be good. That one just goes, whoop. Which one? This top. I think you want that one a little higher. Well, no, I think you want that to turn the other way, like in. we doing? Can you turn me down a little bit on... Uh... Way better. <laughs> yeah. It was that like 14 gauge, we turned it up to 20, 22 or so, and now it should be a little better. update when this patch is in. All right, YouTube, it's a few hours later. This guy's in, that was the first try. 
this guy's in settings on the welder had to be tweaked a little they were a little too hot but steadily getting patches zeus in here's one looking yeah. great need to be grinding on it but yeah it's gonna need some grinding but it's it's all right uh here's a big one what more can we say We're keeping after it uh yeah I'll update again when it is nightfall and we give up for now. Cleaning up after uh, half a day of working on this thing. Got a few patches in and ground down. This is the first one. It's kind of in a little bit, but the hmm. others need minimal body work. We learned lots of lessons. Lots of lessons have been learned. Fun lots has of, been lots had. Of life experiences and terribleness. And uh, this one is. This one's really good. Minimal bloodshed. Minimal bleeding. Need more consumables before we can finish cutting it out, but pretty dang good start.